Here I am. My name is Eddie Nicholas. I'm going to play Township. Okay, I'm with Assemblyman, Assemblyman Giblin, and I'm so grateful that you took the time to speak with us, sir. What did you think about tonight's discussion with um, Congressman Payne? Well, I've known uh, Congressman Payne uh, since his very first days in government, uh, first as a freeholder, mm -hmm. and then a councilman, and of course, then recent years as a member of Congress. Congress represented the 10th Congressional District, which includes Montclair. You know, listening at the uh, barrage of questions that were uh, put to Congressman Payne, it, you know, it appears to me that he's fully abreast of mm -hmm. a lot of the issues that we're facing in the country, and especially as it relates to Montclair. Fantastic. What is it actually, because some people may not know what an assemblyman does. What is your job? What do, what do you do? In some ways, uh, a member of the General Assembly is similar to what a congressman mm -hmm. does on the national level. Uh, in New Jersey, there's 80 members of the General Assembly. Mm -hmm. There's 40 districts uh, that are pretty equal in population, and each district has two members. Mm -hmm. uh, the 34th Legislative District, which includes Montclair, Myself, Thomas Giblin, and Sheila Oliver are the members uh, that are representing the district in the General Assembly. Our terms are two years. Mm -hmm. We have our term up in 2017. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get for re-election, correct? Correct. Every two years we run okay. for election. Well, we've been so grateful and blessed that we have had you, you know, doing what you do so well in um, making sure that New Jersey gets what we need to get and that legislation is passed that benefits the citizens of the state of New Jersey. So we appreciate you. One thing I think is important, many good ideas uh, in terms of pieces of legislation I've introduced over mm -hmm. the years come from the minds of ordinary citizens. Mm -hmm. So if there's uh, citizens in Montclair or other communities are looking at today's program, and if you have a specific uh, idea, jot it down uh, on a piece of paper, or email it to me, and I'll have the Office of Legislative mm -hmm. Services, which develops legislation, look at the practicality of trying to bring that piece of legislation forward. Uh, don't say it's minimal or it's not mm -hmm. important. You'd be surprised. So many good pieces of legislation have come from high school students, mm -hmm. senior citizens, mm -hmm. and folks in between. So it's all about in New Jersey, and we want to keep our minds open. Yep. Assemblyman Giblin, thank you so, so much. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you.